Okay, 26.9. Now come over here. Let me get your height. The Pulmonary Hypoplasia Program, or a PHP for short, is a multidisciplinary group that provides long-term follow-up and care for babies with conditions that cause small lungs. The best example are babies with diaphragmatic hernia. The team includes neurodevelopmental assessments, uh, pulmonary, cardiology, gastroenterology, surgical, and then the family functionings. All brought to the baby and the family in one location. So that's very important because many of these babies, we've learned, can have long-term issues that require that sort of comprehensive, systematic care. This area right here, you'll see it moves. That's where we're gonna look and see if it leaks a little bit because it's the one thing that allows us to to check the pressure in the right heart. I think it's very important to have the cardiologists involved from the get-go. They assess the babies on a, a longitudinal basis, so from the time when they first come, um, and then, you know, again, during their, their acute care, and then before they leave as a baseline, and then also in follow-up. In days gone by, we used to say if they survived, then they were pretty good. But now more and more babies are surviving because technologies increase, and so there is a more, there's more, a wider range of possibilities. And so we think it's very, very important to track that. Hi, sweet Emily. Has it really been a year? The specialists are the same as the acute care setting, and so they know the infants really well. And what they can do is, is put everything together and summarize it and help the pediatrician or help the, the physicians that aren't chop based continue on with their care. Okay, big one up real hard. There is a chance for recurrence with a Gore-Tex patch in place, so that needs to be followed. Good. One needs to also follow chest wall development, because that could be restricted by a patch. One needs to follow for the possible development of curvature of the spine, scoliosis, for pectus deformities, depression of the breastbone. Things of that sort have been seen from time to time in children that have a Gore-Tex patch. It's clear that babies that have barely enough lung to survive and, and barely enough adequate pulmonary circulation to survive can have remarkable compensatory lung growth thereafter. Once the hernia is reduced, uh, the space that's created in the chest allows the lungs to grow and develop. And our lungs ca can grow in, in childhood up to eight or nine years of age. All those things go into what we can educate families about when they have this prenatal diagnosis. So we consider it a huge responsibility to figure it out.